Jethro, uh, well, many congratulations, but I would have thought minority status was for wimps. Don't you have the cojones to go for independence? Well, we've known it for years, Kirsty. Um, you could never, uh, you'd never call a Cornishman an Englishman ever in my lifetime. The real Cornish, if you go right down the west where I come from, so they aren't really telling us anything we didn't know. Um, a lot of people, you'd say, um, um, I talk about Cornwall as a, a, with their own identity. They say, well, why Cornwall and not another county? They don't realise that it, historically Cornwall was a Celtic nation. There was, there was Scotland and there was, I think, the, the Isle of Man, Ireland, Wales, Brittany. Cornwall and, and uh, Brittany, of course. Yep. But, I mean, I mean, do you feel persecuted? No, not really. Not why really. not? Well, it's... it's, it's, it's but we lost that in 900 years ago. I mean, we used to have our own king once, King Mark. He's gone in a thousand years. We do miss him, mine still. So do you think you might kind of try to reinstate some kind of Cornish uh, monarchy? No. You'd be course. king. Of course not. No, 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 no. I couldn't stand that, could I? I can't ride a horse anyway. Well, I mean, you know, what, what's the deal here? You know, is this going to suddenly give a boost to the Cornish economy? Are you going to sort of raise the flag over a kind of, you know, the tin mines, you know, yeah. you, all this kind of thing? Kirsty, the flags have always flown over the tin mines. <laughs> they've always flown right throughout Cornwall. And it's just some that have gone on for years. And now the rest of the country will know that we have our own, uh, an identity. And, and that's what we've always perhaps wanted. It didn't really matter too much. We knew where we were forever. We knew but, who we but were. But, I, mean, I mean, what is, what is it to be Cornish? What is it? What if you're born there? You're 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 a Cornishman. I mean, David Cameron's daughter was born in Cornwall, so she will be she will be Cornish, and I hope she's very proud of it, like we are. You're brought up with that. If you go to to Liverpool, they're brought up Scousers, and they'll always be Scousers. We're well, Cornish people. That's our little bit of identity, and we hang on to it, and we hang on to it very viciously too. Well, we're about to hear from Tom Hollander, but he says that perhaps you're going to kind of celebrate your, your bird, as it were, your chuff. Is that not your local bird, as they yes, say? Yes, and the chuffs are back on the cliffs too, yeah. and that's good. So tell me, what else, what other kind of things are going to come to the fore now that you've got minority status? I don't think it'll make it much difference. I spoke to, to other, I listened to the news, and they said that other countries have had their minority status haven't really made any difference. There's no financial gain. It just gives us an identity which we, we've always wanted. As for independence of the Cornwall, you, that's just out of the question. Um, I mean, we can't survive on three bags of potatoes and a, and a basket full of fish, can we? Oh, so I mean, you don't actually have a, you don't have a sustainable economy of your own? Well, I mean, we, we, well, we're in the bigger Stein. picture now. Let's be fair, we've got to be realistic about this. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I suppose you do have a Duchess of Cornwall. Well, that's right. Um, You've got a Duke of Cornwall. The Duke of Cornwall. He's the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cornwall, of course. <laughs> well, you I mean, let, 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 you're speaking to us from Exeter. You'd be, you know, where do you live? I live in, on the border. Oh, you live in which I'd side actually, of the border? I, I, li I live just in Devon. Ah, so yeah, wait a minute. You're like Sean Connery in Scotland. You don't actually <laughs> live there. Yeah. yeah. But you can take the man out of Cornwall. You can't the take the Cornwall out of the man, can you? <laughs> no, never, Je Kurt, either. Jethro, no, no, uh, no, thank no. you very much for enjoying us. Uh, pretend you're in Somerset now and go and have some scrumpy. Thanks very much <laughs> indeed.